Are you ready? Every day is K-pop. Listen up. Anytime and everywhere. Adirang Radio. Adirang Radio. The time when we can share your concerns and be comforted by the song selections of these two sentimental artists. Final pick! Yes, we're joined by two guests who will empathize with your concerns together here today on Radio Nas. So please, um, will you guys be able to say hello to our viewers? Yes, hi, I'm Vinci. I am the leader and main vocalist of Horizon. Ooh. I'm back. Hi guys, this is Umuti. Mm. Nice to meet you guys. Let's go. Oh, Thank you for having me. That's the first time you didn't say Umuti T T. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah. Hi guys, this is Umuti T T T T. Yes. So, Hyung, it's your first time. Chomin mm-hmm. day. Mm. How do you feel? You know, actually, I feel some a little bit weird because I because this is my first time using English on this mm-hmm. show. He's doing so good though. Yeah. My fans maybe know I can't speak English, uh-huh. but I didn't speak English at the show. Uh-huh. So I will try my best. Okay. It's a little bit like, like weird. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think it's all good. Yeah. Yes. Your best is enough. I'll try sure. my best. Mm-hmm. So, um, Hyung, build up is yeah. over. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Please tell everyone what you've been up to since then. Oh, you know. I thought I can sleep a lot, mm-hmm. eat a lot. <laughs> 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 but he was wrong. But <laughs> it's wrong. Oh, he's wrong. Okay. I, I'm still I'm still busy right now, uh-huh. and actually my mom's in Korea right now. Oh. So oh, yeah. yeah, after the final show, I shopping with my mom. Oh. I eating with my mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like that. Yeah, this is happy, and mm-hmm. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you see Build Up? Wait? Yeah, I saw the performances. Mm-hmm. I saw your falling stage. Oh, and then, <laughs> of course, dangerously. Uh, oh, yes. Even my members were just playing it nonstop on oh. TikTok. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's an honor. <laughs> it's an honor. Yeah. Um, do you you don't have lists? Hyung, could more 다른 얘기 뭐 하고 싶은 게 있어? 아니면? Oh, okay. Today's maybe like. Our fans of all know about the Water Fires debut. Oh, Woo! news! Yes, Water this is a big fire. news for today. Mm-hmm. So actually, we preparing the new song. Mm-hmm. Um, that song is maybe mm, on fire. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe I think you guys will love it. Okay, everyone, look forward to Water Fire. Vinci, you've come back after working on your promotion. Yes, yes. Time. So, um, how do you feel being back on the show? Well, actually, it's a very different vibe now because I'm with two different artists right now. Mm-hmm. Because originally, I I am usually with DJ Sam right. and Alex. So, Alexa, and so now this is like a new vibe, and mm-hmm. I like it because you know it's like a refresh. It's oh. a refreshing, <laughs> okay. refreshing vibe. And okay, yeah. sorry, so y- you are the Sambin name in the show right now. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, kinda yeah. technically something yeah, like yeah. that. But I mean, I am very pressured right now because these two beside me are vocal powerhouses. So oh, don't sell yourself short. Oh my. I know. I'm very pressured. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but let's much. do our best very together. Very yes, much. perfect. Well, Vinci, uh, yeah, is a regular guest for yeah. this corner. Since you are our sunbeam, yeah. do you have any tips <laughs> that you want to give us? Tips? Yes. Well, I think you just you should just really be yourself. You know, you be your fun, usual self, and just when you're giving advices, just say what sh- what your heart feels like it's saying. Oh, yeah. Just be genuine okay. and be genuine. yeah, tell the viewers what they. My heart telling me. Want to scream? Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> well, I'm the special guest for today. Am I doing okay? Yeah, of course you're doing okay. great. I mean, I've seen you earlier, and you're like a pro now. Oh, oh yeah, you're doing good. You're oh, doing good. You're doing good. Salamatpo. Oh, Sunbin. yeah. Is that is that thank you? Yeah, sal- yeah. Salamatpo is thank you in oh. Filipino. Mm. You gotta teach me some later. Yeah. But we're going to start off final pick today. Um, so can you please, Vinci? Yes. Introduce. Final pick to wow. us. Wow, this is the first time I'm going p- to be doing this, and today there's going to be a twist with final pick twist. because actually this time from this week, it won't be a battle anymore, but it'll just be more of your guys um like sending letters to us and l- listening to the music, you know, feeling the vibes. It's more chill. There's no more battles and challenges involved. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and have fun this final pick. Yes, New no vibes. competition. No competition. Just love. no competition. Just love. We're all friends. We're we're, we're done with competition. <laughs> yes, yeah. Please stop. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> yeah.
yeah. Uh, so um, you guys had to choose some songs for the yeah, viewers yeah, this yeah. week. Yeah. Was it difficult? Was it hard to pick um, for your you? songs? Or it's it? not that difficult to me because um, I just I just think about my playlist. Mm-hmm. Oh like, yeah. I just choose what song why like my every time I love my uh-huh. best my oh, favorite yeah, song yeah. and your go tos. Yeah, what song in my playlist? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, I think mm. that's the same for me as well. I mean, I've been doing it so. Yeah. I have like a roster. But right now, like my mindset when I chose the songs were like very straightforward. Very I straight. didn't really think too much about it, mm-hmm. or like gut feel or something. Gut feel. Yeah. And actually, I feel happy to share my playlist with you guys. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's all. <laughs> and it's an hour to hear. Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, with because this is such a sentimental mm-hmm. corner, mm-hmm. you know, rather than really thinking about what you want yeah. to show to the viewers, being able to just like listen to the concerns and. Give something that you feel. Yes. Genuine yes. feelings. Yeah. Vibes. Vi- <laughs> feelings and vibes. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Hyung, will you please read us the first message today? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me find this page. Fighting. Okay, let me try. Yeah. This is my first time on radio. Mm-hmm. You can do it. Okay. You can do it. The first message is Bahar. Bahar. From Bahar. Hi, Radio Nas team. Thanks a lot for addressing my concern. I was under a lot of pressure for the past three months in my work studies, as an I was on oh, oh, as an PhD student, which has made it hard for me to stay focused while working. Mm. Oh, I share an office with eight other people, and actual and naturally. There's a lot of chit chat going on during the day, the day which dist- distracts distract me distract. a lot. Okay. Recently, I've been even sometimes distracted by the noises people make while eating a snack mm-hmm. or the sound of them typing fast on their keyboards. And once I noticed though noises even wearing headphones. Ooh. Doesn't help me <laughs> ignore them anymore. Wow. Oh my Most god. Isolation and helping. Yes. <laughs> this has made a day that I work in office very unprotective. Mm-hmm. Okay. At the same time, one of the days that I don't have any meetings, I decide to f- work from home, but then I find it hard to stay the splendid work for the whole working day. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Consider. Okay. Oh, consider oh, no, no. Oh. It, it's, it's, it's this line. Okay, okay. Oh. okay Considering yeah. all of this, sometimes I have to wake up before 5 a.m. to go to work or go to my office on weekends mm. to be able to finish my tasks in quiet office, which leaves no time for quality rest for me. Mm. I'm really lost on what to do to help myself getting on track again. Uh. And, well... Appreciate to you, to your suggestions best, Bahar. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Too many distractions. Yes. What do you guys think? Well, I usually listen to music actually mm-hmm. when I work, so I'm more focused on what I'm doing. But they say it's not headphones even headphones don't even work. The headphones yes. don't even work. So like headphones don't even work. Oh my god! Headphones is like the last resort. Like mm-hmm. how, if, if loud? <laughs> how, <laughs> how loud? How loud? How loud does how it go? Loud? Right? Maybe, maybe noise cancellation. Maybe noise maybe you need <laughs> like a noise cancellation headphones could work. Mm-hmm. If you have maxi. that, but that could get very expensive mm-hmm, you know, can. those headphones nowadays are very expensive yeah what would you do huh um do you have any like like tips on focusing okay i have tips on focusing but it won't if work. i if i the same situation <laughs> oh i it think might not work and focus <laughs> <laughs> because the headphone instead doesn't work. Yeah, right? like what? You that know how loud? Would work. I would say meditation probably, oh, but yeah. in that environment, I feel like meditation is uh, <laughs> not very possible. You know, sometimes hmm, this is very hard. Bar, yeah. bar, this is very difficult but, situation, see, yes. isn't it? But um, sometimes, I think you can try like to play some 
jazz music. Mm-hmm. Jazz music. It's like without vocal. Mm-hmm. Maybe that will yeah. Yeah, give you some help. In. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully that can help. But yeah. this is yeah, this is a stump. This is a stumping yeah, question. Yeah, it's like a dead yeah. end ish. <laughs> Maybe you gotta think about remote work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, work from home. See what happens if you can do that. Yeah. But um, um. yeah, Kyung, what um song will you suggest to Bahar for this problem today? Oh, the first song is "Knock" mm-hmm. for um Kod Kunst Sambenim. Kod Kunst Sambenim, featuring by Paikyerim Sambenim. <sighs> Um, this song is my favorite song, oh. like maybe a years ago. Mm-hmm. So every time, like when I finish my work, mm-hmm. when I in the car going home, oh, oh, like listen always I listen this song. Oh. So this is this song like makes me relaxing, and I hope this song can help you to focus in your work. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Bahar, I choose this song mm-hmm. for Bahar. Good. good. Yeah. What about you, Vinci? What did you choose today? I chose Workaholic by Wang Seyon. Oh. Mm. And it's a new release. Oh. And I mostly thought of the title. Like, I think it's, it connects to your, like, concern because you work a lot. Mm-hmm. So maybe you might, you know, enjoy this track. And yeah, I, I like the vibe of the song. I hope you can play it on your headphones and... It can help block out yeah. the noises yeah. <laughs> yeah. while listening to it. So yeah, you know, some t- even and if the p- headphones don't work, yeah, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And I want to say something for Bahar. Okay, mm-hmm. and sure. maybe you can you can you can sing this in English. Okay. 이거 학교가 어차피 끝나니까 어 빨리 열심히 하고 끝나면 좋은 경험이다. Ah, well, since since school basically it's over, just let's. Do it fast. Get get it done. Finish it quick, and you'll be good. I think this is makes you uh, stronger mm-hmm. in what the future. You makes you stronger. Yes. <laughs> so let's listen to the two songs that our guests chose today. Uh, Umu Ti Hyung picks "Knock" no. by Code Kunst, featuring Yeren Beck, and Vinci has chosen "Workaholic" by Hwang Seyoung, featuring Ash Island. Let's give it a listen. That was Knock by Kod Kunst featuring Yeren Beg and Workaholic by Hwang Seon featuring Ash Island. Thank you guys so much for the excellent song suggestions. But now let's take a couple of minutes to read your comments. Yes. Yeah. There's actually a lot of there comments is telling you to teach teach me. yeah, teach you guys yeah. Filipino. Mm-hmm. And actually Jay shared with me earlier. <laughs> yes. That he knows three words, which yes. are three. <laughs> I know three. What did you say? Mahal kita. Yeah, I, I love, love you. you. Mm-hmm. I love you. Mahal kita. Okay. And Salamat po. Salamat, Salamat po. po. Thank you. Thank po you. Po is yeah. like po. yo. Oh, and the last cool. one is the most important. I like the last yeah. one. The last one is kulangot. <laughs> which I is kulangot. <laughs> booger. Kulangot is booger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because growing up, my grandmother used to tell me to always stop picking my nose, and that's how she did it. Was oh. Yeah, that's a very Please odd. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop. stop picking your kulangot. Yeah, yeah. hajima kulangot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, bec- that is a very odd word to remember, kulangot, because usually when other artists go to the Philippines, they know the mahal kita and the salamat po, the I love you and thank you, but they never know the kulangot. <laughs> so that's that's a very odd word to yeah. remember. I think that's our Filipino TMI. listeners are liking that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what's a hot word right now? I think if there is a hot word right now, I don't know. I guess you could just say hala. It's like hala, hala. Like it's like an es- expression like omo, like something oh, like that. Oh. Like hala, like hala, 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 or like grabe kana, grabe kana, grabe kana. Oh, oh, wow, that's oh, that's Filipino <laughs> oh. vibes of right there. What is grabe kana? That's it's like no mohe, no mohe. Ah, hyung, grabe kana. No, 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 no. Oh, hala, grabe kana. Yeah, grabe kana. Oh, yeah, you guys are good. Oh. Multilingual, oh. right here. I will. I will. Someone said, "I'm that. crying." Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you're crying. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Cause it's like a, a quintana. Like you can do it anywhere. Like uh-huh. grabigana or like grabigana or like. It's like different vibes. Yeah. You can do it in different ah, so it's feeling. Like a it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Expression. Oh, yeah. Tagalog. They're enjoying. They're enjoying. Yes. Yes. 
Bahar needs to get a pet. Yeah, Bahar, <laughs> I, think you, I think you just need to get a pet. Oh, Something yeah, for a distraction. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What more? Oh, Umuti. Finally, <laughs> debut. Chukai. Oh. Finally. Water fire. Mm. Water fire. Water fire. Water okay. fire. Water fire. Thank you. Okay, well. Um, Vinci, will you do us oh. the honors of going on and yes. reading our second prompt? Our yep, next. It, this is from It's Gem Here. Hi guys, I have so much going through my mind these days as an overthinker. It's about my job, where I have a bit of a controlling marketing manager. (sighs) Sounds like a micromanager right there. Mm -hmm. It's my first job as a fresh graduate, so I'm the youngest in the company. Therefore, I'm usually like the dump truck of tasks that need extra help. Mm. I'm not uh, complaining about that though. I'm really grateful, I promise. It's just that this manager of mine nitpicks about how I do my tasks, especially when it comes to the projects I'm handling. It makes it difficult for me because there are a lot of changes that she wants to implement, which makes the process so much longer. Sometimes I think she should be the one doing it if she will if she will change almost everything. I did speak to her about it and how I felt, but she was rigged and didn't think that there was something that she needed to change. I really want to know if you're in my shoes, how would you handle this situation? Because honestly, right now, I'm just trying to be the bigger person by just taking it all in and just doing my job. Thank you in advance for your help. I just really need some peace. LOL. Love, Jemima. Ah, grabe ka na. Grabe ka na, boss. To the boss. Well, this is a usual thing that I've seen recently mm-hmm. happening, like micromanagement. Mm-hmm. It's when the boss, the superior, keeps you know, yeah. managing mm-hmm. every single detail and controlling every single detail about you know the employees' work, yeah. and it makes it hard for them to like you know to work independently because every time it's like. Do you have an update? Do you have an update? And it's <laughs> exactly. like a b- it's kind of burdening. Yeah. And I think a good tip maybe would be to earn the trust of your superior. Mm. Cuz usually in these type of scenarios I think you just need to earn their real trust mm-hmm. so they can like feel comforted without, you know, nitpicking on mm-hmm. everything, I think. Right. Mm-hmm. Become trustworthy. Yeah, very eyes. like earn their trust and make them seem like you got it all backed up. Like you don't need <laughs> help anymore. Well, I mean, it's it's nice to get some help, and they're probably doing it for a good cause because they're concerned of the result and everything, and they want you to do your best. But mm-hmm. I think overwhelming them with all the details can make it easier for them to trust you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, that would be. That's an excellent idea. Yeah. Tell me, what do you think of Horangi boss? So, Jane is the Mangne in the company uh-huh, right now. Yes. 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 It's a Mangne. So, I think every Mangne <laughs> in the company <laughs> is the same situation. He's a victim. Like <laughs> you. Yeah. So, like even even Yun Sub Seng. Mm, yes. Even like us, trainees, as yeah. like trainees, is Mangne is the. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it hard. It doesn't matter it's what hard. position you're in. If yeah. you're the mangne, you you're got the it right. Yeah. So, um, I want to tell you, it's like, just do something like, like, chun mm, kyolgwa. Good results. Yeah. Okay, so, show them. Show them mm. your power. Exactly. Yeah. And I think maybe that will be getting better. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just like, um, these two said perfectly. Right now, you said that you are trying to be the bigger person by just taking it all in and do your job, which is a very good idea. But as these two have said, try to excel. Go a little bit over mm-hmm. your comfort zone and show them that you are ready to take on. Because I think when it comes to like horangi yeah. bosses, mm-hmm. what you need to show is grit. Yeah. Like, like the confidence. Like show mm-hmm. everything you've got. Mm-hmm. They're trying to scare you. So mm. if you show that you're not scared, oh, yeah, true. don't be scared. Mm-hmm. If they sense it, they'll feel it. Yeah. yeah, and you'll look weak to them. So, stay strong. It's That's like when a shark smells blood. Oh in yeah, the water. in the water, and they're like, she's scared. He's scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, 
What songs do you guys want to recommend to Jim? Uh-huh. Today? I prepared this one is from Tama mm. featuring George. It's Do It For Love. Um, mm. I think the mindset that I had while choosing this song is if you love your job and you love what you're doing with your work, then it's all gonna end well. Like, mm-hmm. do it for your love, for the passion, for, you know, mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. And yes, I hope the the manager or the superior you have will be content and satisfied with your work. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. What about you, Hyun? Oh, I picked a song called Hair Dryer. Mm-hmm. Hair Dryer. By Sari. Mm. Um... I hope the hair dryer can like, like, <laughs> like dry you <laughs> over the. <laughs> <you know? laughs> oh, I think Man, this is perfect good. for the first one. Yes, that's like so if good. there's noise, if there's noise, you just overwhelm the noise with the hair dryer noise. Yeah, <laughs> I think this also works for the first sender. Right, yeah. if Bahar. you can beat the noise, join the noise. Yeah, this yeah. yeah. song is more of a hard too. Yes, yes it yeah. can be the hair dryer because yeah. this is like this song is so chill. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, I hope this song can help you, like, maybe when you finish your work and just stop think about the horangi boss mm-hmm. and just take your time and listen to some song and chill. Chill. Mm-hmm. Just forgot it. Relax. Mm-hmm. And ready to tomorrow. Yes. yes. A new day. A new day. A new beginning. Okay. Make sure to grab your hair dryer and blow away all the negativities oh, just like he said nice segue. okay well wow. this is do it for love by tama featuring george followed by hair dryer by sodi so please listen to well jemima we'll see you soon yes. that was do it for love by tama featuring george and hair dryer by sodi you guys have very very nice music taste Thank i you. must say Woo. yeah i like the hair dryer song i think i'm gonna add it to my playlist yeah. i like it i like it i like it when hair dryer came on i was like you know when i hear the word hair dryer yeah. this is not the sound that yeah, i expected yeah so. same yes but we have one last message to read mm-hmm. and i will be doing the honors here today by from allison diaz hello hello allison I have been struggling with depression for seven years, and I am now 18 years old. Oh, 17 years... Since 11. Yeah. Wow. I want to open up to my parents about it, but my parents are somewhat closed-minded. I heard them say that mental health is a disease that this generation has made up. I'm scared that my feelings will get rejected and be taken as a joke. I had talked about therapy from a third-person perspective, and they said that it's a waste of time. I've secretly been going to therapy with my older sister, but ever since she moved out, it's been hard. I've been overthinking for three years on how I should tell them. I would like to know how you guys tell someone your ideas um, when talking to a closed-minded person. From Alice. Well, that's heavy. I mean, um, experiencing depression from such a young age, it it was hard. That's Mm -hmm. hard, probably. Very difficult. Because, I mean, I think professional help is the best way to go. Mm -hmm. But also talking to your close ones about it, I think it's a very important thing to do. So they can, you know, understand you better. And I get that she's very scared of the rejection that she might face. But I think if she really talks with her parents or, you know, anyone close to her, but and she just shares her thoughts it you know it's like uh what do you call this when something's weighing off your shoulder. Yeah, yeah weighing off something your shoulder it's like a huge relief to have if ever that happens and hopefully it does mm-hmm. and i guess it's more of like not them accepting i think you should like remove that thought of like them accepting cuz it's your truth and i think that's the only thing that matters right now it's for mm-hmm. you that you accept it and even if other people don't accept it, as long as you acknowledge that, I think it will be easier for you to open up. Yeah, mm-hmm. telling your parents, think of it more as something for you mm-hmm. rather than for them. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's always for you. Mm-hmm. And um, actually, I want to say something for you because like, 
you know, you can tell your friend and you can find someone to you can tell. Mm-hmm, yeah, and yeah. I, I don't think like, because because you you say something like you parents can't understand, and maybe you 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 may be like getting fight with mm-hmm. your parents. So, I think you should like find someone you can tell and like same, mm-hmm. like so first like, 조금 부담을 mm-hmm. 없애고. Yeah. Helps you get that weight off of your shoulder. Mm. 그렇게 해서, but just be yourself every time. Mm-hmm. Like, don't need to change your mind or your everything. Mm. But I hope you can, like, getting some time, like, talk with your parents, and your parents can understand you. Right. Yep. I don't know how, <coughs> I don't know what kind of people your parents are, but one thing I've noticed. Especially with closed-minded parents, is that they have one soft spot, and that soft spot is always their child. True. So, when it when you, if you do take the opportunity to talk to them, maybe they will be able to understand your point of view a little bit better than they can understand the point of view of random strangers, and that's probably why they have this closed-minded kind of opinion about mental health because no one. That in their vicinity, maybe has a problem like that. But now that you do, I'm sure that your loving parents will be able to understand you a little bit better, especially coming from you. So give them yeah. a chance. Yeah. Give yourself a chance. Yeah. Yeah. You might be the key to opening Slowly. their closed-minded mm-hmm. yeah. minds. You know, you could be their enlightenment. So I hope you can be that for them if ever they are in that spot. Mm-hmm. If you share your thoughts, you know. I hope they accept it. Yeah, give them a chance. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you, Allison. And best of luck. Yep. Um, but very, very sad. But unfortunately, we are coming up to the end oh, of already. this week's final pick. Uh huh. What Hello. do you guys think? Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Well said. Hello. Oh, hello. How was it, how how do you guys think of about today? How about you? As a first timer oh. here. And y- he said even in the building, he it's his first time. Really? Yeah, in the building. you know, it's it's like actually it's it's not a first time I'm doing the radio mm-hmm. show, but this is the first time I'm doing an English radio mm-hmm. show. <laughs> Which so you did well. I you think did. I speak for everyone when I say that you are fantastic. Yes, no, and yes, I think even right. the fans are commenting your your English is so oh. good. Mm-hmm. And actually, like, cause I with the with Jay today, mm-hmm. so maybe so I more. Yeah, more yeah, familiar face, yeah. a familiar face. So, thank you guys to like trying hard to understand my English. <laughs> oh, don't need to try hard <laughs> at yeah. all. And I'm so happy and I'm so happy to be here and so thank you guys for having me today. What do you think about coming back? Coming back. Yeah, trying again. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> To okay. think about it a little bit. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll yeah, try. Pause. Yeah, okay. the pause. <laughs> you guys wanted. Um, and thank you so much, Vinci, yeah. for coming back today. How was it today? Yes, I mean, it's been a long time because I was out, out, out. I was not here for a month. So, you know, I was thinking a lot of my Wednesdays because I usually spend it here. But now I'm back and it's a relief. And I like it again. H- had fun. And with new faces this yes. time. So Fresh crew. Yes, fresh crew. Umuti Sonbenim and Jay Chang Sonbenim. Yeah. Is that Sonbenim? Son <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 right? Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Wow. That's <laughs> the first time I've heard that be said to my face. <laughs> um, thank you, Vinci Radio yeah. Sonbenim. Oh, yeah. Yes. No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Um, and um, I just want to quickly... Oh, how is it? Thank you. Oh. Yeah. It's the first time. Thank everybody for having me as the special DJ today. You know, usually, you know, it's Sam who yes. is always here and he's uh-huh. such an excellent radio DJ. So being told that I have to fill his shoes is a little bit nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. But um, I'd imagine. Yeah. Being able to kind of see this um, experience and being able to do it with Umut Young and being able to do it with you as well, Vinci, has been very comfortable. I would say um, it's not it's not as hard as I thought. I yeah, right. Cool. You're amazing. Yeah. It's no, like you're amazing. Yeah, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> it's like a friendly chat, like yeah. also with the listeners as well. Mm-hmm. 
it's it, fun. Like this podcast jam. It's very, true, it's very cool. right? But um, let's let's take a couple of looks for yeah. for one last time. Let's look at look. Oh wow! Let's that see what horrible. they think about exactly. our dynamic. <laughs> let's uh, read what you guys have to say one last time mm. before we end today. Mm-hmm. They said, "Jay, you did so well. Oh, yes, thank you. We love so you. Well. I love you too. We love you too. Mm-hmm. Yes, TikTok collab. Oh. TikTok. TikTok. Oh. Let's go. Let's let's, let's go. Do it. Let's do, go. Let's do it. Okay. We, did you guys yeah. have a challenge? Yeah. 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 Which which one? Oh, we, we can do the H O R I seven on, which is very easy. Oh. We just spell the name of our group. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah we can do it. H-O- okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. It goes H, and then O. O. And then R. R. Yeah. Usually it's with a feet. Yeah. R- and I Z O N. Wow. Yeah. It's a seven. Yeah. Oh. Z O N. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's you make it happen. Um, mm-hmm. awesome. What the more DJ debutation? That's right. Yes. J X Vinci again. Well, mm. you know what? If there's one thing that I've seen about this, uh, entertainment world, it's that you guys can make anything happen. So, mm-hmm. I love you guys so lucky. Oh, thank Today. you so yeah. much. Thank you so, so much. much. Oh my god. Yeah, the first one. It's a bit. It, it's very like, poppy poppy. I should mm. I should put it in my playlist. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you so much. <laughs> Um, Rockstar, but yeah, challenge? um, thank you guys, Rockstar Challenge. We can do that as well if you guys would like. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's been an excellent experience mm-hmm. for me, and I'm sure it was a great experience for you, Hyung. Yeah, and just another day at the office for you. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> a new day, a new day at yeah, the o- exactly. Day. And you can say the same thing to you, Bahar and Jemima. <laughs> new day at the office. <laughs> Don't forget that. But um, my this last song recommendation is for me to you. Um, and we will listen to the song and say goodbye to everybody. Yep. Uh, the song that I want to recommend to everybody is... Um, uh, you, you did the challenge. I did do this challenge. I did do this challenge. Yeah. I did this challenge with everybody. Yeah. Um, did You probably have seen it. It's with... One of my better friends. Yeah. His name is Camden. Camden. This is Broken Heart by Ampers and One. One. See you guys again next week on Radio Nuss. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye-bye.